Hello guys, this is Herman from Desire. And what I have here is one of the oldest drinks in history and one, if not the best, social lubricants, wine. Like the Greek said, in vino veritas, in wine, truth. But if I want to get the truth, I have to open the bottle. People may think the greatest inventions are the internet, the smartphone, but what about the fidget spinner? Talking about spinning, I actually think one of the best inventions could be the corkscrew. But is there somewhere else where you can find this wonderful invention? For example, have you noticed that industrial chimneys have this screw shape around them? When a chimney is subjected to wind, the surface may produce a phenomena called vortex shedding or the Kerman vortex. If the chimney doesn't have this screw shape on the surface, the chimney will oscillate and it could collapse, hurting the people around it, stopping the process, or even worse, killing Santa, ruining Christmas, and then who will bring my fidget spinners? I need my fidget spinners! Anyway, this kind of shape can be seen also in some new thermal wells, used especially in the heavy duty industries that use this elliptical screw shape to generate a symmetrical flow around its surface, avoiding the vortex shedding and vibration. In a previous video, I explained that there are configuration tools and standards that help you configure and dimension your thermal wells. I just want to let you know that these kind of thermal wells are not part of this standard. But there is an instrument that actually uses the Kerman vortex street as an advantage, the vortex flow meter. The frequency of the shaded vortices is proportional to the flow velocity inside the pipe and using the cross-section of the pipe, you can calculate the volumetric flow. If you're considering vortex flow meters, just take into consideration that you will need straight paths up and downstream to avoid any flow disturbances. If you have low velocity fluids, you will need to use pipe reductions that will cause pressure drops. And if you want to measure the flow of wine, you should try not to steer it too much. So vortex flow meters are not the best solution. So this is for you experts. If you want to measure wine flow, what kind of instrument should we use? Tweet us at Visaya Solutions with your answers or just send us a bottle of wine to the address below if you really like this video. Remember to subscribe and I see you next week. Cheers!